So I'm poking out, hold on. Yeah, so I'm gonna put a TV, I'm gonna put a TV right here. Maybe mount it inside of these. <laughs> put a TV right there. And then just have this like a couch in here and you know, this like real chill room, get some sound bars. Then we have movie nights and stuff like that. Like I can't believe me and my baby. This fucking house, y'all. Is like five, six, ten apartments put together. What is good, Diamond Dynasty, baby? Welcome back. To another mother friggin' video. There's a lot of girls with me right now. There's a lot, got a lot of drugs with me right now, right now. But I'd rather just get high off you. Cause it doesn't feel the same, yeah, yeah. And a lot of girls say they might now, might now. I would never trust them in right now, right now. I would rather pass that blood to you like we used to do. And today, baby, y'all already know what the fuck going on in this goddamn video. As y'all can tell, I had to put the hat to the back, the pony to the back, and I had to do something with that shit because it's too fucking hot in motherfucking Texas, okay? But yeah, today you guys wanted me to jump right into this video. This is Domo motherfucking Wilson, Miss Dominique Wilson. Our new empty house tour with a basketball court. I'm trying to come over, you know what I'm saying, Domo? Just let me know, you know what I'm saying? A little 1v1, you feel what I'm saying? But anyway, guys. We're gonna go ahead without further ado and get into this video. If you have not already, go to the link in my description down below and cop your Diamond Life, Diamond Dynasty, baby merch. If you are merch game, let me know in the comment section down below. I appreciate you guys so much. Orders are going out every single day. If you wanna be featured in a future video, make sure that you DM me and let me know that you wanna be featured in a video and send me pictures of the products whenever you get your merch, okay? Also, make sure that you go to the link in my description down below. There is a link for my spiritual channel. Go get you some soul food, some wisdom, and all that. That, you know what I'm saying? You know I like to drop gems on this channel, but I can't really go into depth because you know what I'm saying? I'm touching a different type of crowd on this particular channel. So if you guys want a more deep conversation, y'all go fuck around on the goddamn spiritual channel, all right? I appreciate you guys so much. Let's go ahead and get into this video without further ado. Make sure that you join the Dynasty, baby. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment your thoughts and opinions down below, share this video with a friend, hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another little ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the real Diamond M and let me know what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend to tell a friend to their aunt, your mama to their uncle Joe. That nigga's still a hoe. Let's get right into this motherfucking video, y'all. Let's get it. What's up, y'all? I am Zach Wilson. That is my son. In this right bitch. Here. That's Dominic Wilson. And we bring to you the Wilson Stanley new pack. Y'all, I don't think I'm going to be able to get this out the way. Because no furniture in it. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Uh. I am Zach Wilson. Y'all, I am Zach Wilson. Huh. 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 Vogue. In Vogue. In Vogue. In Vogue. This house looks big as fuck. So why am I moving? What happened? All this stuff. Pretty much our lease was up. So, I'm not being sad. About that time. I told y'all a year ago, I spoke this into existence that I'm going to get a house for me and Dominic. He is such a happy freaking baby. That's all I want to say. Move it. It's going to be our forever home. So, I mean, there's not any other reason. But I want to thank you guys so much for even, like, giving us the opportunity to even live here. Forever? I don't know, y'all, man. Like... It's gotta be one hell of a house for me to call it forever. Maybe that'll change if I have kids or whatever, but I feel like, man, I don't know. I think I would get sick of a house after like five years, you know what I'm saying? Definitely after 10 years, I can't see myself staying in the same house for a lifetime, you know? Y'all leave me a comment down below and let me know how you guys feel. Would you like to stay in a house for a very long time? I feel like, it's possible if it's like really, really, really my dream house for real, for real. If you guys did not watch, if you guys didn't listen, if you guys weren't here, we were not here to do this. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And obviously, all oh, word of God. Amen. So, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? 
busybody. This right here is Dominic's bedroom. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, literally just got keys to him and this is open. I'm thirsty. Cha-ching. This is the only room that he has had. So I'm overwhelmed because he's like, oh my gosh, I want to do so much stuff. Like, I want to put a slide in here. I want to make this room come alive. So I was thinking like a Lion King thing or Minion. Like that is some different type of carpet y'all let me know in the comment section down below if you know what particular type of carpet that is but me personally i have never seen that carpet before and yeah it's different i don't know if she's gonna do any extra shit like renovations to what is already there because a lot of homeowners especially if they're gonna be there for a lifetime like to make little changes and updates along the way so y'all leave me a comment down below let me know what type of carpet that is if you know like what theme it is. Send me some Pinterest ideas on my Twitter. Pick up my Twitter. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. Oh, I'm having a breathe hard, so whatever. <laughs> Shout out to my sister. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm gonna get him a toddler bed, get him a full bed, get him a twin bed. I don't know. I think I'm gonna- Peep the matching kicks though. I see you. I'm gonna get him a bigger bed so we can grow into it. Like after he gets in high school. I'm gonna, God, this is our home. This is ours, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna give him, like one of the things, like right now he's like this tall, right? And then as he keeps growing, I'm gonna give him one of those things when you mark, what does it cost that? When you mark the height. I think he's gonna be like six foot, but I'm telling he's like 14 and I'm crying, for real. I'm, I don't wanna talk about it. Anyway, so <laughs> this is his bathroom right here, which I love this, honestly. It's such a perfect tub, sink so, and everything. It's a big ass bathroom for a, how old is he y'all? Three, four? It's a big ass bathroom. Thank for his height. He got it made, baby. Set him up here. Uh, and then, oh, I love this because where we live now, technically, you know, I just got my kids in, still live there for a couple more weeks. But, anyways, um, his tub is just not a good tub. And this is perfect for him. I love giving him baths and all that stuff. So, this is like literally, this wasn't over. And some of y'all might be like, okay, it's a basic tub. But to me, it's. No, cool. that's a nice tub. That ain't no basic tub. I done seen plenty of basic tubs and that's not one of them. I'm just saying. So let me have this one. Especially okay. for yeah. little boy, you know what I'm saying? He Gucci. A cute toilet. You know they be having a regular toilet? They got a whole, it's wide. Okay, wide booty. Fact. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put this in the car, but I'm gonna put this in the car. I don't know about that. I don't know what I would want to do. It's no space for them. Yeah, it's no space. So I'm like, all right. Let's take that deal to the other room. Because I'm the type of nigga, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it comes from me being an only child, but me, kid, or. You know what I'm saying? Grown up, whatever. I like my space. I like my own room type of thing. You know, but kids, they're going to be kids, so they probably wouldn't have no problem with it, no issue with it. But me personally, I need my own shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so this is right here. Right now, I'm going to make this probably Dominic's classroom mm -hmm. or playroom. I'm not sure he yet. He's got so uh -oh. much energy. Until I have another baby, if I have a girl, then this is going to be her room in the future. So let's bring okay, it up. Okay, okay. Welcome to Diddy Wilson's room. <laughs> what you say, Demi Wilson? I kind of like this. AKA Dominic's for right now, teacher. Because you know he's in speech therapy, and the speech therapist now comes to the house. So I want to say, I'm in the classroom because uh, my son is speech delayed, uh, which means that he's delayed in speaking. So the speech therapist comes once a week, and I'm going to make this a classroom. Or I'm thinking about making part of his room a classroom. Let me know in the comments. You guys can give me input, and I will listen because I. If he's gonna be homeschooled, then I think, of course, you would you should set aside a room or a certain space for him to learn, you know, and just set it up with all the things that he needs, all the tools that he needs, which I'm pretty sure you're gonna do anyway, Damo. You know what I'm saying? You do your thing and you do it well as far as being a parent is concerned. But yeah, go ahead and you know spice it up for him. Put a little ABCs on the wall, one, two, threes, and yeah, make a little learning center or a learning space for him. I mean, do you think I should make half this room? Uh, a, a classroom, or should I make this a classroom? I mean, you have the space. Okay. So How many bedrooms do you have, yes. my nigga? Let me know what you got down. The, the, down below in the comments, but I am painting these rooms, so. This house is so big, I'm gonna have to put gates everywhere so he doesn't go in. So, okay. All right, guys, so right now, I'm about to show you where none of the magic is. <laughs> Those mm -hmm. things. I'm gonna take you to my room. Welcome to my personal private library right here. Um, okay, this I see. is my library, which is 
That's dope. Speaking of, I need new books, y'all. Self development books, positivity books, books on energy, books on, you know, uh, law of attraction. Y'all leave it in the comment section down below. I need some new knowledge, some new wisdom, or just new books in general. Y'all let me know. I would really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Welcome to my laboratory. Okay. Welcome to my room, guys. I am Sandy, my room. I'm tired. I ain't even doing it. <laughs> we walked around the whole house. This is it's a big room. room. This is the biggest room I've ever Spacious. had in my life. This is like my last bedroom time spot. So, I'm going to be doing a lot of different stuff with this room. Um, I want to put a couch in here. Maybe a king bed, a couch for a king. Okay, you know? facts. I don't know yet. So, yeah, I'm just... Oh, Tell me everything in that bed. Thank, 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 thank. I cannot thank you enough for even watching me and wanting to subscribe. Facts, and to though. be a part of this whole thing. Well, Clifford. Facts. He gonna keep you young. <laughs> I got a puppy and I can relate, okay? And he ain't never growing up. But it's one, so what to do? Wait, this mama club that came up with a little lost in forehead. I'm sorry. Alright, this is club number one. Being as though I like give away so much of my stuff, it's gonna be hard to fill these closets, I'm not gonna lie. But it's okay. Let's go. Look up closet. That's why you buy some more shit. Welcome to closet number two. Follow me to the hers bathroom. It's his and hers bathroom. Uh, all right so i have a good question for miss dominica wilson when you get into a relationship miss dominica wilson whether it be with the male or a female would you ever consider moving into a different house or does he or she have to live with you at your current residence right now where you're moving in right now would you ever consider getting a home with someone else or are you pretty much sold on the fact that whoever you are with is going to have to move in <laughs> y'all leave me a comment down below let me know what you guys think you know what i'm saying what do y'all think when she gets into a committed relationship and things get really serious even to the point of marriage or whatever or at least being committed for you know a while do you guys think that she'll be okay with possibly giving up where she's at right now to find a home with somebody a significant other together or possibly moving in where that significant other stays y'all leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys think having a moment tonight i'm sorry um what he loves this house i just love that he loves it he's about to make so many memories here all his friends that's a dope ass shower i thought you did he's gonna be like mom please my friend's here i'm gonna relax you know i'm not talking about that friend your friend's period i think he's gonna be like he's gonna be like all right, period. Tell me But this is my scene. This is my talk. This is gorgeous. Yeah, it is. Like how you did this. Look. That's dope. Remember how you asked me which side I like better? Mm -hmm. I think I like this side better. Interesting. Okay, that's <laughs> it. I mean, this is your your domain right here, ain't it, Damo? So, All right, so let's take pretty sure. His side. So before I even show y'all. That's guys, dope. Hey, I got a mirror and it's built in. Like, all that is right there. dope. Hey, oh, guess what, guess what, guess what? Damn. Before you go out, nigga, everybody hit that mirror up. You know what I'm saying? Everybody hit that mirror up. It's your new house. So yeah, I love it. Like one of my favorite. Look, this is peeking over. It's one of my favorite. All right, camera lady, you have to say. Yes, here you go. Look at that. Oh my god. Follow me. Tell me what you think. This right here. Y'all like? I'm gonna so many photos. Like that shit dope. I'm fucking with that. That is my favorite bathroom in this house thus far. I like the black. I don't know if that's mar. It don't look like marble. It looks like something else. Y'all let me know. Is it granite 
what is it exactly but i'm feeling it i like the black i like the white um contrast of the bathtub shit is lit i fucks with it okay but this natural tub this is mama time well mama tired and tired all day this is where she coming but i hmm. almost got her it's this is this door i don't want stuff down that shit dope like that. i am not gonna hold you that motherfucking uh mirror looks like a fucking dressing room in goddamn nordstrom or something bro okay. Okay, girl, get your makeup done. Uh -huh. He living his best life, boy. I know. This house is pretty. It's huge. It's like 7,000 square feet, 8,000. All right. Come on, buddy. This is like huge. I can't wait to see the furnace house tour, man. That shit gonna be badass. I can't wait to see exactly what she does with it and how she chooses to design it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh my god. Okay, now you throwing me off. It's not like it's neutral though, so it goes a lot of things. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what color I'm gonna paint this one yet. Oh, okay. I know it's too quick. I thought she said it was light blue. I'm about to say, uh, I know goddamn well I'm not a. Uh, I like it simple. What's your color? Right here. See, right here. Color blind. Shot right here. I don't like this. Boogie. That makes me feel fucking claustrophobic as hell. <laughs> I am not gonna lie, that just makes me feel like it's too much fucking going on in that goddamn small ass room. I'm not saying that it's not not nice, but you know what I'm saying? I like space, like I said, and when stuff gets too scrunched up together, a nigga be feeling real claustrophobic. So, you know. Y'all let me know in the comments down below if y'all feel me. My grandma comes into town tomorrow, and I'm so excited. She's going to love this. Oh, I'm Granny. So Wait, you want to just help me show up? Granny Panties. <laughs> Granny Penny, Granny yeah. Penny, oh. <laughs> Granny Penny, 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 it's like a, a little yeah. breakfast nook oh, area. No. I don't even eat at the table by myself. I'm poking out. Hold on. Yeah. So I'm gonna put a TV. I'm gonna put some of this in my I'm gonna put a TV right here. Maybe mount it inside of me. <laughs> put a TV right there. And then just have this like a couch in here, and you know, this like real chill room. Get some sound bars. Get, and then we have movie nights and stuff like that. Like I can't believe me and my baby. This fucking house, y'all, is like five, six, ten apartments put together. With that being said, this video is gonna be too motherfucking long, okay? So, I will probably do a part two tomorrow showing the rest of this big ass house, okay? So far, so good. I'm fucking with it, you know what I'm saying? Nice carpet, nice tile, nice roof, 
nice doors, nice everything, you know what I'm saying? It's a nice motherfucking home. I'm pretty sure there's a lot she's gonna wanna do to the home. I don't know what exactly, but I cannot wait to see the furnished house tour to see exactly what Miss Dominique Wilson chooses to do with this place, guys. Make sure that y'all leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know how you guys feel about Miss Dominique Wilson's humble abode, you know what I'm saying? What do you think she's gonna do with all of these rooms? Stay tuned for the next video. At least one video, maybe two. Can't make no promises. But I do love you guys from the bottom of my heart, not the bottom of my balls. I ain't got no goddamn balls. I do have some shout outs to do today. And the shout outs, post notifications, shout outs for today are going to go to Queen Lexi, Jalen Johnson, Callie Starr, and Courtney LaVon or LaVan. What is good y'all? I appreciate you guys so much for having your post notifications turned on and for leaving the positive comments. If you have not already joined the Dynasty, baby, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment your thoughts and opinions down below, share this video with a friend, hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another little ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the real Diamond M. And let me know what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend, tell a friend, today ain't your mom, today Uncle Joe. That nigga's still a hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Love y'all, man. Peace. Here we out.